be like Cinderella Sitting in a dark cold dusty sack Waiting for somebody To come and set me free I don't wanna be like no one Waiting for hands and fits to come and say Don't wanna be no, no, no one else I'd rather rescue myself So, hi you guys, my name is Haley And I just wanna do a little sit down chat with you guys today About a topic I'm actually really passionate about and I feel like this is like a really controversial issue so please no one get crazy about it. Yes, I'm in fact talking about Disney princesses today and one Disney princess in particular. If you know me, you know exactly who I am getting at right now and I want to talk about Mulan. Mulan's not a Disney princess, Haley get over it. Now today I'm going to talk to you about why I believe Mulan is a Disney princess. So now if you don't know the story of Mulan, I'm sorry about it. Um, I've watched the movie so many times and it's actually based on a true story. So the story of Mulan goes, so she wasn't really fitting into the social gender norm of a teenage girl her age and people were like, oh she's a failure in your family. Ah. And all of a sudden, China goes to war. So they call for one male from each family to be drafted in the war. And uh-oh, there are no other males in the family except for her father, who is getting up there in age and he can barely walk without a cane. Her dad has to go out to war, like that's like the rule. But Mulan is not gonna have it. She figures, hey, I'm not like the typical girl. Why not? pose as a guy, go fight in my father's honor, and just do something with my life. Because she knows if her dad goes out to war at his age and health, he will probably die. So she cuts off her hair and goes, takes the little scroll and goes out to war. And she poses as a guy basically to save her father's life, which pretty honorable. So then she goes through training and she's not really doing so hot as a guy and I mean she knows nothing about being a soldier and everyone's like yeah we can tell you don't know about being a soldier and then she gets something in her and she's like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let's learn how to be a soldier and fight. So she finally like gets something and she does it. She goes out to war and she saves China. I mean with the help of a bunch of other people, but she she saves China. And then they find out she's a girl and they're like, oh my gosh! And like normally she'd be killed for that because you just don't do that. Like that's I guess a rule and she was like willing to risk her own life to save her father's. Oh my gosh, Mulan, I'm just gonna start crying. And they end up not killing her and they're like, you know what? Hey, girls can clearly do the same thing that guys can do. And she friggin' shaved, saved China. Shaved, she shaved China's back. She saved China and she was a woman. Whoa! Whoa! And the story is girls can literally do whatever guys can do, like social norms, gender roles. They, they're just irrelevant. You can do whatever you wanna do. Regardless if you're a boy, girl, other, you can do whatever you want to do. Like, don't feel that you're constricted by society and gender roles. And I think it's just like a really cool message. And yeah, Mulan is like Woman Crush Wednesday every day. She's wifey. So um, basically, that's why I think Mulan is like the best Disney princess. And why I think she is like she earned her right to be a Disney princess like she didn't have to be like born into the family like I've talked to so many people that are like Haley like Mulan wasn't like born a princess or anything like her dad's not a king or anything like she's not a princess and if a Disney princess is someone who mops the ground with a bunch of singing animals and Mulan does not need to be a princess she can save herself you know who makes a really good song about gender roles and you know social norms like that. Ben J. Pierce by Little Game on iTunes. If this was American Horror Story Season 3 Coven, and we were trying to figure out who would be the next Supreme, 
it would literally be Mulan. I own Mulan and Mulan 2 on DVD and like I'm very proud to say that. If you guys have any opinions on who's your favorite Disney princess or who you think would be the next supreme in a house full of Disney princesses, um, let's fight about it in the comments below. So just give me your opinion. If you think Mulan could win a fight against any other Disney princesses, um, give this video a big thumbs up for me because I like to see that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon next time. Alright, bye.